Hello everyone, welcome to another squad builder. Sorry I haven't done one in quite a while, but I was on holiday for a couple of weeks and then just decided to have a couple of weeks off FIFA, I really didn't feel like playing. But we're back again now, uh, should be back to weekly squad builders. This one's sort of an Argentinian Russian League one, I sort of did it around um, this international man of the match, Garay. Anyway, in goal we've got Akin V, pretty good goalie, general all round good stats, not got great speed, but I guess for a goalie it doesn't really matter. And positioning isn't the best, but you don't really notice it too much. Left back, Crescito. Not the best left back, but sort of the only one the Russian league has that was half decent. Decent pace, good defending, not too bad, not too great. First centre back, Bacchetti. Again, they don't have many centre backs in the Russian league. But he's got pretty good pace for a centre back, and he's got decent defender stats anyway, so he's pretty OP. Then we've got this Garay here, really, really good centre back. Not got a lot of pace, but his defending stats are just a joke. His sliding tackle's not the best, only 82, but 98 standing tackle is just ridiculous. 94 strength as well, so even with with not the best pace, no one's really going to get past him. He's also got 94 free kick accuracy, which is really weird, I thought, but still, it's a good thing to have, I guess. And he's got really good heading as well, 94 heading accuracy, 84 jumping, 99 penalties, and 97 shot power too. Not really sure how they got how that happened, but. Anyway, you can pick him up for about 33 grand at the moment on PlayStation 27 on Xbox. I picked mine up about a month ago for 25 grand, so obviously his price has gone up a little bit. And as you can see there, I did get a goal with him too, which is probably just from a corner. Anyway, right back, Zabaleta. Really good right back, I thought. Not the best pace, but I, he was sort of the only Argentinian one I thought was good. But I was really impressed. Good defending stats. Uh, good on the ball as well. Quite good dribbling and passing for a right back. Especially one that's more defensive like him. CDM, you might be, you might notice as well. Some of the format, uh, positions are a bit weird, but they all got 10 chemistry after 10 games anyway. Obviously, Palacio doesn't have it yet, but after two more games, he will. Um, so yeah, the, the the positions don't really matter; they'll get chemistry anyway. So CDM, we got Witzel, not the best pace, but really good on the ball, good defending stats. Really impressed with him. I think I used him before, and I wasn't too impressed, but this time he played really well. Good passing as well. Uh, left mid, Danny. Used him before as well. Really good left mid. Really surprised with him then, and he's still just as good as the last time I used him. Really good pace, really good dribbling, good passing. Could score a few goals with them as well. I've scored 9 in 15 from um, two different teams, which is really good, I think, for a left mid. Especially in this team, playing him left mid instead of left wing as well means he you shouldn't really have as much chance to score. But if you like uh, cutting in with your wingers, he's Definitely a good left mid. Probably one of the better ones I've used. On the right we've got Lamella. Another player that really impressed me this year. Good pace. Really good shooting for right mid. Good dribble, Really good dribbling. Decent passing as well. As you can see there I've used him in quite a few teams. 28 goals in 59 games for a, for a uh, midfielder or winger. is really good I think as well. And a lot of assists from him too. So I definitely recommend picking him up. Then attacking midfield, saw the the three strikers here, which is ridiculous. I mainly made this team for Garay, obviously, but the strikers are really the highlight in this team. Mainly because I'm playing three strikers, and I think instead of um, two strikers and a cam and wingers instead of midfielders, just going forward, the team is a joke. Palacio here, really good pace, good shooting, good dribbling. Scored two goals in eight, got three assists. Not the best, but he does seem to link up really well with the two strikers. Obviously Higuain here I've used before, 51 goals in 64 games and 17 assists, which is, I think is really good. Especially considering how cheap he is, he's not got the best pace and dribbling for a striker. But I definitely recommend getting him. And Tevez here as well, absolute quality, 8 goals in 8 games. Good pace, good dribbling, good shooting. 81 strength as well, which is pretty good I think considering his pace and dribbling. So yeah, mainly a team for Garay, but as a whole this Russian and Argentinian team is one that I definitely recommend.
Yeah, I thought.